Hello grade 9 students, we are now through discussing the properties of quadratic functions. Now we proceed to the next topic, writing quadratic functions. So in this topic, we will learn how to uh, rewrite a quadratic in standard form to its equivalent vertex form or vice versa. Melk, transform quadratic functions defined by y equals ax squared plus bx plus c into the form y is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k. The learning objectives are identify the value of a, b, c in the standard form and a, h, k in the vertex form. Find the value of h and k given the standard form of quadratic functions. Identify quadratic functions in general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c and the vertex form y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. 4. Transform quadratic functions in general form y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c in the vertex form y is equal to a quantity x minus h squared plus k and vice versa. Standard form quadratic function we have here y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And here are the examples of quadratic function in standard form y equals a x squared plus 4x minus 5 y equals negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 2 y equals negative x squared plus 4x y equals 2x squared minus 7 y equals 10x squared y equals negative 1 up x squared plus 5 okay which among this uh, quadratic function in standard form uh, that open upward that's right a b and e are quadratic function that open upward. How about the quadratic functions that open down, downward? B, C, and F. Okay. Si pag negative yung A, downward. Pag positive yung A, upward. Now, identify the values of A, B, C given the standard form. So for number 1, what is A? 2, B, 4, C, negative 5. So this is just a review. Number 2, what is A? Negative 1, negative 3, negative 8. Correct. Number 3, what is A? What are, what are the values of A, B, and C? Negative 4 for A, B, negative 6, C is 0. For number 4, what is A? 1, B is 0, C is 2. Okay, how about the vertex form of quadratic function? It's written in the form y is equal to A quantity x minus h squared plus k. What are the examples of quadratic function in vertex form? We have here, letter A, y equals x minus 4, quantity squared plus 9. y equals negative quantity x plus 1 squared minus 5. y equals 4 times the quantity x minus 4 squared. Yeah. Uh, these are the examples of quadratic function in vertex form because from the equation, you can immediately determine the vertex. For letter A, what's the vertex? 4, 9. And negative 1, negative 5, negative 4, 0. I did positive 4, 0. Identify the values of A, H, and K given the vertex form. Y equals A, quantity X minus H squared plus K. For number 1, what is A? 1. What is H? 2. What is K? 6. Correct? Pag minus 2, positive yung H. Pag plus 2, negative yung H. How about here? Pag positive plus 3 dito, that means h is negative 3. a is negative 2. That means downward yung parabola. And k is negative 8. Okay, we'll follow the sign. Yung h, hindi, hindi siya niya papalo yung sign. For number 3, 1 yung h, a is 4, and k is 0. Okay. Easy, right? Very easy. Can you follow? h, k, a, a, h, k. Note, in identifying the value of h, you will change the sign from positive to negative. Or negative to positive. Yan, h lang consider natin yung sign. Now, let us now learn transforming general form into its vertex form. Using the formula h negative b over 2a and k for ac minus b squared all over 4a. So, let us now learn. To rewrite uh, uh, quadratic function in standard form to its vertex form using a formula. So in number one, 
given y equals x squared plus 4x minus 10. So a is 1, b is 4, c is negative 10. So let us now solve for h. How? Use the formula negative b over 2a. Substitute the values of b and a. b is 4, a is 1. So negative 4 over 2 is negative 2. So h is negative 2 for this function. How about k? 4ac minus b squared over 4a is the formula. Substitute lang. 4 times 1 times negative 10 minus 4 squared all over 4 times 1. We have negative 40 minus 16 over 4. Negative 56 all over 4 is negative 14. So, what is k? Negative 14. How about h? h is negative 2, k is negative 14, while a is 1. So, we can now substitute this values of a, h, and k to the vertex form of the quadratic function y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k. 1x minus negative 2 quantity squared plus negative 14 will become, let's now simplify, y equals x plus 2 quantity squared minus 14. So, this is now the equivalent uh, vertex form of the given quadratic function in standard form. You follow? Let's proceed to number 2, another quadratic function in standard form. Let us uh, write this to its vertex form. First, identify the values of a3, b negative 6, c10. Then let us solve for h, negative b over 2a, substitution. Negative negative 6 over 2 times 3, that means 1. h is 1, how about k? Substitute the values of a, b, and c. In the formula for k, for a c minus b squared all over 4a. So we have here 4 times 3 times 10 minus negative 6 squared all over 4 times 3. So we have 4 times 30, 120 minus 36 over 12. 84 over, over 12 is 7. So h is 1, k is 7. Therefore the vertex is at 1, 7. And the values of a is 3, h1, k7. Substitute it to the vertex form of the quadratic function y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k 3 times quantity x minus 1 squared plus 7. So, ito na yung vertex form of the given quadratic function in number 2. Y equals 3 times quantity x minus 7 squared plus 7. Simplifying this part. Okay, can you follow? Now, there is another way to transform a quadratic function in from standard form to its equivalent vertex form by using completing the square method. Let us recall completing the square method. Completed square is a model of a perfect square trinomial x squared plus bx plus c. Excuse me. The process of rearranging an equation in the form x plus d quantity d quantity squared is equal to e is called the completing the square. Note, to get the third term of a perfect square trinomial x squared plus bx plus c, divide the numerical coefficient of x by 2 and square the result. Okay, you know that. And in symbols, c is equal to b over b divided by 2 squared, where c is the third term and b is the coefficient of x. So, recall lang how to complete the square. Uh, divide b by 2 and square it to get the c. Okay, this is now transforming uh, standard form to vertex form using completing the square. Example number one, we have here a standard form. Y equals, standard form of quadratic function, y equals x squared plus 4x minus 8. So by completing the square, you can be able to rewrite this to its vertex form. First, given, group together the terms containing x. So x squared plus 4x minus the uh, x squared plus 4x quantity minus 8. But let uh, isolate natin yung 8. Uh, we will just group the x the terms containing x. Then what is b? 4. Divide mo yung 4 by 2. 4 divided by 2, then square it to get to get the value of c. Uh, the number that we are going to add to x squared plus 4x. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So we will add 4 and subtract 4 here. Yan. So, add 4 to x squared plus 4x and subtract 4 to 8. So that, whatever you added here, subtract mo dito. 
So that parang walang nangyari, parang wala ka ring inan. Zero. Okay. So plus 4 on this part, minus 4. So minus 8. So we have x squared, y equals x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 8 minus 4. So plus 4 minus 4. Plus 4 minus 4. And then you can now factor x squared plus 4x plus 4 which is equivalent to x plus 2 quantity squared. Then subtract negative 8 and 4. Negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. So factor and simplify as the square of a binomial copy the sign of 4x. So therefore the vertex form of y equals x squared plus 4x minus 8 is y equals quantity x plus 2 squared minus 12. They are just the same. They are equal equations. Functions, you'd say. Another, we have here a quadratic function in standard form. Transform this to its vertex form first. Uh, group together terms containing x, so meaning isolate mo yung 9. Negative 2x squared plus 12x, quantity squared plus 9. Then you can factor out to x, negative 2x squared plus 12x, con factor is negative 2x, times quantity x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, let us complete this square, yung x squared minus 6x. Uh, divide mo yung 6 yung 2. Divide 6 by 2, which is 3. Then square 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So, I will add here 9. And I will subtract here 18. Negative 18. Okay, why negative 18? Here, let's continue here. So, 9 to complete x squared minus 6x. Then I will subtract here negative 18. Why negative 18? Because if you multiply 9 and negative 2, negative 18. So I will subtract negative 18 here. Right? Tindihan? Kasi yung 9, multiply mo pa ng negative 2. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. So you subtract negative 18 here. Minus negative 18. So that's equivalent to plus. 9 plus 18. So dito na ngayon. Negative 2. Y equals negative 2 quantity x. Quantity is x squared minus 6x plus 9. Plus 9 plus 18. Okay, gets nyo? Then, factor this trinomial, x minus 3 quantity squared, and then add 9 and 18, which is 27. So, therefore, the vertex form of y equals negative 2x squared plus 12x plus 9 is y equals negative 2 quantity x minus 3 squared plus 27. Very easy, right? Uh, this time, let us learn how to transform vertex form into general form. So, we will do the vice versa. While back, we learned how to transform general to vertex form. Now, this time, vertex to general form. This is easier. Okay, we have here the vertex form of quadratic equation y equals x minus 4 quantity squared plus 3. So, what will we do here to convert this to its general form or standard form? Okay, expand the binomial. What is x minus 4 times x minus 4? x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 3. Simplify at the constant. x squared minus 8x plus 19. 16 plus 3 is 19. So, this is now the answer. This is the general form of y equals x minus 4 squared plus 3. So, its general form is y equals x squared minus 8x plus 19. Another uh, vertex form. Let's form this to standard form. Even, square mo lang yung x plus 2. Square x plus 2 first, which is x squared plus 4x plus 4. Then multiply it by negative 3, minus 7. Negative 3x squared minus 12x, minus 12, minus 7. Then simplify, add the constant terms. Negative 12 minus 7 is negative 19. So this is now the general form of the vertex form given. Therefore, the general form of y equals 3, negative 3, quantity x plus 2 squared minus 7 is y equals negative 3x squared minus 12x minus 9. Let's proceed to practice exercise. So, for number 1, what's your answer? Uh, transform quadratic function to a vertex form. What's your answer for number 1? Yun, yung solution. Vertex form to ano to? Transform quadratic equation into. Oh, baliktad yung kanyang ano. Excuse me. 
Transform quadratic function to its gen standard form or general form. Yan. For number one, uh, square first yung uh, binomial x plus 6. x squared plus 12, x plus 36, minus 1 is 35. Yon, that's the answer. How about for number two, what's your answer? Uh, vertex form y equals x minus 3 squared plus 2, quantity squared. So first we square x minus 3, which is x squared minus 6x six plus 9. Then add 9 and 2 only, magiging 11. So the answer for number 2, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 11. Next, another, transform quadratic function into the vertex form. Okay, this time, general form to vertex form. Here's the formula for h and k. For number 1, is completing the square for number 2. So number 1, let's start. What is h? What is k? So dito na yung answer for number 1. What is h? Yon. A is negative 2, B is 4, C is negative 36. Substitute B and A. Solving for H, 1. Solving for K, negative 34. So therefore, the vertex is 1, negative 34. Substitute in the vertex form of the of the quadratic function. A is negative 2, so negative 2 times X minus 1 squared plus negative 34. Or final answer is Y equals negative 2, quantity X minus 1 squared minus 34. That is by using the formula for h and k. How about here? Using completing the square method this time. First, uh, we fuck, uh, isolate uh, the, the, the terms with x variable. So, plus 18. Then you can factor this. Negative 2 times quantity x squared plus 12x. Then what will we add here to complete the square? 12 divided by 2, 6, 6 times 6, 36. So mag-add tayo ng 36. Add 36 to x squared plus 12x and then subtract positive. Subtract negative 72. Yun. Plus 36, subtract negative 72. Subtract negative 72 means plus. So, you can factor this trinomial now. Negative 2, x plus 6 squared plus, add the constants 18 and 72, 90. Thank you very much for listening. Um, there's still a part 2 for this, properties of quadratic functions. I'll see you then. Goodbye. Stay safe.